Greetings and salutations. I'm back down the shed and because I'm getting a little bit uh, hung up on these claws, I'm starting to have doubts about how I want to proceed with them. I've decided that I'm going to do something else until I've figured that out. Now, looking again at some of the references and there seems to be a bit of a covering. I'm thinking that potentially help cover some of these areas and I'll thicken out that area and it might help me build on whatever I need to attach onto here. So that's something I'll be looking into in the future. I'm thinking of plugging these holes and actually thinking of filling it up with a bit of uh, expanding foam. Although what I might end up doing is I might end up just seeing how much it'll actually go down to maybe about here and then I might mark it off on the claw itself and I might, when I'm pulling this apart to stick it through into the arm, I might just whack a bit of plastic or a bit of PVC foam core or something in there just as a jammer. So then if I do pull it all the way down, it won't actually, it'll close about there and it won't actually do, and it won't actually make any sound when I close it. That's just things to think about. Uh, I've really got to clean this up and think about how I want to progress. I'm not 100% happy with it. As I said in the other video, sometimes beggars can't be choosers especially with props. But to get myself mentally away from that, I decided I originally was gonna try and do the prototyping of the core flute as a structure on the arms. Then I realized that's probably not the best idea. Not because I don't trust the material, but partly because of it, but mostly because if I'm going to experiment with something like this, I want it to be somewhere that's not highly visible. I decided to get a pair of old boots. These are a pair of my old workshop boots. I've graduated my nice boots to workshop boots accidentally by getting a lot of paint on them. That's okay, because I got a new pair of nice boots. So my old workshop boots, which are still fairly good. They're still all right. No, I'm kidding. They're not that bad. I've got odor readers and that in there. They just smell like boots, but nobody really wants to smell other people's boots anyway. I'm gonna grab one of my boots and I'm gonna start figuring out how I want to cover this. I do have some rough sketches here of, for what I can gather of my reference material. Now the problem with the reference tool I'm using is that most photos don't have good shots of the feet. Now, because I'm essentially going to be scratch building this, I'm not going 100% on screen accuracy. I have a lot of leeway on how I want to do this, but I didn't know if I wanted to build it just as a brick with a thing or just do some angles. And I'm not 100% on how this stuff is going to work with complex angles. So what I'm thinking of doing is essentially a, a block and some angled in bits and, and a flat plane. So it's not gonna be a perfect boot. It's gonna be like that, essentially. So we'll see, I've got two boards here. I'm hoping I can get one board per shoe, but if push comes to shove, I'll just get more of it. Or if this turns out to be a complete failure and this material just doesn't want to work, I'll just scrap it and look for something else, or I'll just use foam, or I'll just, I'll use, I'll, I'll figure out something. So let's see. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> I literally do not know how this is going to go. I might just get the basic shape down and that's about it. If I can get it to a point where I can finish it, that's all well and good. But the basic idea for now is to see what this stuff is going to be like before I move on to using anything else. So it's experimentation time. Let's go. <laughs>
I've been working for almost an hour and I'm not particularly happy with this. I think the problem was that I probably should have started working on this the other way around. It probably would have actually helped. It would have been lengthways, which would have actually provided a bit more material along that way. And it might have helped with some of this bending. Yeah, I see a cut through that. No, I'm not not particularly happy with this. However, the measurements themselves, I'm kind of happy with. What I'm going to do in the next day or two is I'm going to transfer these markings and I'm going to try and create a 3D model, which I'm then going to transfer to Pepecura. So I'm going to have the panels and I can flatten them out. Then I don't have to worry too much about calculations. I can shape it how I want to fit aesthetically. Then I can transfer those onto the material. Now, what I might have to do with the boots, I might actually have to make each boot uh, removable. I'm not liking how much flex there might be in this material. The other thing I didn't get a chance to do is to test out the gluing. In fact, that's what I might just do now. I'm not sure how strong this is. It seems to be good, but I don't know. I'm not sure how, see it's already pulling apart. This is pretty damn good to cut as well. I mean, I'm just using a, a scalpel here. I've still got this, uh, slow drying gel and I've got some of this more fast drying super glue. I'm going to glue these onto the edge as such. I'm going to see how much it takes to pull these off. That will essentially be my strength test. Yeah, I love it when this gets blocked up. This is why you have knives. Don't try this at home. I only got a barest amount in here so I'm not particularly wanting to open up a new one. There we go. Oh, I think this actually might have cured out. Right. And that's what happens when you add too much in one go. I'm just gonna put that down. Yeah, that's the other problem is pressure builds up occasionally and trying to release that is gonna be interesting. I might just slowly put that down. There's way too much on there. That's not gonna cure. I'm gonna transfer some of this to another piece. That's already bound. That's already pretty strong. I was going to use some accelerant on that, but I don't think I'm going to now. But I'm still going to do the middle one as a Latarz angler. I don't have much of this left, so I might have to go get some more. That's already starting to fuse quite well. Now, I'll have to leave that. I might just use the kicker. Let's see how that method goes. If you saw it in the video, I was actually ended up using a mini ruler. I usually use a popsicle, but go with what's on hand. I'm going to leave that overnight. I might, oh, maybe, maybe two nights. This does say 48 hours. Uh, sufficient bond strength for practical use achieved up to 12 hours, bundle strength another 48. So yeah, I'll leave this overnight. All this should be well and truly done. I mean, yes, it's feeling stiff as hell now, but if this pulls off tomorrow, then we'll know the structural integrity. If this doesn't pull off, well, we'll have a good idea on how well it is. So it's been more than 48 hours. And so let's give this a stress test, okay? So let's see. Pull wise, it seems to be fine. Let's try and peel it off. Um. Oh, that is taking a bit of strength, but that could just me being another weakling. Oh, wow. Okay, looks like super glue method. That's no, that's strong enough. And that's just the regular super glue. Let's try the Tarzan grip. Yeah, Tarzan grip, not good. Other sip glue. Oh. Yeah, can pull it off, but it takes a significantly more effort. Let's try with the other test piece. Oh. Wow, this actually had more on here. That might be it. it, might just need to have a better spread. You can kind of see, it looks like while it's dried, it's, not fully bonded whereas that one it looks like it's actually bonded better and you can see how much effort it's taken to really pull that off and i'm having to try and peel across if you know lateral pressure is going to be fine you'd have to wreck this to get it off so that's good that's very good 
So if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and check out our other stuff. I'm doing Back Down the Shed videos every Monday and Friday and I'm doing another video every Wednesday. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you'd like me to tackle some tools or some products or some methods and want to see my take on them or you'd like to, me to explain how to do certain stuff, please let me know. So until then, see ya.